Hey everybody, welcome to Tech Uploaded, CP Hadley here, and today I just got in the mail the last piece of the puzzle for my 4770 build, my NZXT white case over here to my right, and it is the computer memory, kind of an important piece, couldn't really skip this one, and I went for the new A-Data XPG version 2 V2, uh, and this is 1866 uh, memory with uh, timings of 10, 11, 10, 30. So, not bad, not the greatest in the world, but not bad. So that's pretty much the same timings that you would probably get if you took a, a 1600 you know, set and, and overclocked it. So they're just kind of telling you, hey, we already baked the profile into this memory, so it's gonna be good. You're just gonna go into your BIOS, turn on that profile, and you're good to go. Auto overclock, no fuss, no muss. So that being said, computer memory, why 16 gigabytes in a, in a gaming build? Well, I'm gonna be using the machine for editing as well. So not a bad idea to have 16 gigs. Most of the time you're probably not gonna hit it, but why not just put it in there? Memory is kind of one of those things that you wanna buy it and forget about it. And what you don't wanna do, especially you know, with the Z87 motherboards, you know, something on the 990FX for AMD, where you only have four slots is to regret it later. And you know, say now you're like, ow, I need eight gigs. So I'm just gonna put in two sticks of four. And then later you go, hmm, Wow, I could go for 16 gigabytes. Cool, I've got two, two more slots available, awesome. I'll put in two more sticks of four, spitting on myself. I'm just so passionate about memory, I guess. So now guess what, doing the math, you following along, you now have 16 gigs, yay! But you also have zero available slots. Just buy the kit of 16, two sticks of eight, because guess what? You're not gonna have that problem until you've hit the motherboard's maximum cap on 32 anyway. So XPG. This is, uh, this is a fairly new line of memory that came out, uh, I think like third quarter last year, late last year sometime. And uh, it's got a nice look to it. Um, I really like the, the, the heat sink look here. It's kind of got that curved look. It's, it's kind of looking tough. You know, it's like I'm spitting again, it's looking tough. Uh, they also make a, a V1 version of this memory that's lower profile, so it doesn't stick up quite as much. And uh, they do sell that, you know, in, in overclock varieties as well. I think you can get that up to 24. Uh, you can get this, at least on Newegg, all the way up to 2800, uh, though the timings are very loose. They're like around 14 or something like that, I believe. Um, but, you know, the, from what I've been hearing, these are pretty darn reliable, and they were running at the time, you know, this is, you know, probably going in, first going to second quarter of 2014. These were running around 149 um, on numerous online retailers. So it was about 20 to 30 bucks less, you know, than like a Crucial or you know, uh, Kingston or something like that. So I figured, what the heck, why not give it a try? I mean, memory is easy to test. Run mem test when you put it in, let it run for quite a while, make sure you're not getting any errors. I'm gonna take this out for a little bit of a test drive. I'm gonna run this for a few weeks and I'll be back to let you know how it's going. And you know what, I'm gonna push it too. I'm gonna underclock it all the way down to 1600 and see if I can get timings 999927 or maybe even 24. And then I'm going to crank it all the way up as far as I can go, which apparently this stuff can go up to 2800, but you know, the, the profile's not baked into it like the 1866 is just ready to go. Uh, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of tweaking to see if I can get it that far. I don't know if I will, but hey, it's what it's all about. It's fun. So I'm going to run this through its paces and I'll be back in a few weeks to, to let you know how it's working out uh, with the 4770K and Asus Maximus 6. Um, hero motherboard uh, and and I'm gonna you know test it out at stock and at overclock let you know how I feel about it well okay I've been running this memory for a couple of weeks now and decided it was a good time to take overclocking for a spin so you can see up on the screen right now this is my result in max mem at my XMP profile of 1866 and that's with timings of 10 11 10 and 30 so the next natural step was to try 2400 megahertz so what I did as I went online and found the ADA to 2400 megahertz kit and copied the timings into EUFI. So I changed them to 11, 13, 13, 35 and added just a little bit to the voltage, moving it to 1.53 from its default of 1.5. And as you can see here, I did notice some improvements. So nothing that's going to be earth shattering or probably even noticeable, but the memory copy, memory read, memory write, and memory latency all saw increases in performance. So that's always nice considering this was a super, super easy overclock and free performance is always a good thing. So if you get the 1866 kit, definitely give this a try. 2800 megahertz did not work out. The motherboard rejected those settings no matter what they were. So 
regardless of timings or voltage, the motherboard just would not get past the initial initialization stage and had to be reset with the mem OK button. But nice and easy to bring it right back down to 24 and you do see an improvement, so that's always nice. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and come back soon. Thank you.